Thanks so much. Well, burns are a common injury for many children and parents will do whatever they can to protect them from getting burned. Today, Dr. Kristen Farr with Children's Hospital has these important advice to protect your child. So anytime you're, you know, cooking on the stove, then that's always runs a risk in the oven that runs a risk. Um, and any kind of scalding, you know, liquid could certainly be a, a place where kids could get burned. This time of year, campfires are, you know, kind of big as well as fireplaces. So uh, any kind of, you know, burning flame. So in a campfire fireplace, uh, if you have any candles in the home, those are all places where you can easily get burned. We also see sometimes, you know, um, exhaust pipes like ATVs, um, motorcycles, things like that. So want to just kind of be aware of, you know, obviously anything that's hot. Um, another thing that's common would be if you don't um, reduce the settings on your on your own water, you know, when you're taking a shower, we usually say you want it to be set to 100 degrees, 120 degrees Fahrenheit or less, or or else you could pose a, a risk when a child's taking a bath or shower that could actually accidentally, accidentally be scalded. The, the first thing we would say is if, you know, there's any kind of clothing involved, unless the clothing stuck to the burn, we want you to remove the clothing. Um, we want you to run cool water, not cold water. Um, one really important thing is we don't want you applying anything to it. No home remedies. Um, some people will say, you know, put butter on it and, and that is not recommended. Um, so we say, you know, no home remedies. If you have the, um, the access at home to a, a nonstick kind of bandage or gauze, Sometimes we can say, you know, do that, um, but the cool water is going to be the biggest thing. If it starts, you know, blistering, then, then we would want to see it. One thing I would say is if it, it's second degree burn that will cause blisters, we do not want you popping the blisters. Um, we want to keep that area intact. So that's one thing we would recommend you not do at home. If there is absolutely ever a case where there's an electrical or chemical burn, we 100% of the time want to see the child. Even if it looks minor, we want to see the child because sometimes there can be internal injuries you don't know about. Um, and those can be life-threatening. So absolutely. Um, and with anything, with, with burns especially, but, you know, with, with pediatrics, we say supervision is going to be the best way to prevent any kind of, you know, burn injury. Um, we want, you know, obviously want the you know, parents to, to teach their children to stay away from hot things and boiling things, but, um, but, you know, nothing takes the place of adult supervision for sure. So setting the hot water heater to 120 degrees Fahrenheit or less, you know, obviously would be you know, one step you could certainly take. Um, anytime you're cooking, you want to use the back burner. You want to make sure that the, um, the pans are, uh, the handles are kind of turned away so that the child doesn't, you know, have access to reach those and accidentally tip those over. Um, you want to make sure that any kind of matches or anything that could possibly be flammable or out of the reach of a child. Um, if you have any candles that are lit, you want to make sure that you keep those again out of the reach of a child. So anything that could potentially cause harm, you want to make sure you just keep the child away from it.